All right, we're gonna do something different. We've done it before, but we're gonna do it again. Hopefully you guys like it and it's well received, but we're gonna do a monthly recap, a monthly review, a monthly update, mm -hmm. whatever you wanna call it. We're gonna, and the reason why we're doing that is because you guys only get to see a fraction of the yes. amount of games that we play and the amount of fun that we have in the game room. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna recap, we're gonna show a bunch of stuff. Just so you guys don't think that we're just like trying to brush it off that we haven't been here for a long time. Not a long time, like uh, four, five, six it's, weeks, I don't know. Has it been that long? I mean, I didn't even have a beard when we took a break. Yeah, he shaved completely. Dolphin smooth, head to toe. He just went dolphin smooth. But what I should say is I creatively needed a break. I was feeling overwhelmed with life. I, I just want to be honest with you guys. I don't... Hey, no! Hey, hey! I think a lot of people can really appreciate and understand where I'm coming from. And sometimes when it goes unsaid, how hard it can be to try to fit YouTube in to an already packed schedule. Oh, yes. Then it starts to be... You just lose your creativity. You lose everything, and it just it. So I needed a break these, to get caught these up. These lulls, yeah, happen to a lot of creators. Yeah, and this was just one of Jen's lulls because yeah. I don't really. I'm not a creator. Look at me. He's just he's a he's an on camera personality only. He's just he's the talent. This he's just the talent. So I'll, I'll take that. Anyways, that's what's been happening. Okay, so we're gonna kick it off right away with games we finished. Ooh. Do you wanna go first or do you want me to go first? Go first, you're okay. first on the list. So I finished one game, One so game, low. single player. Yeah, single player. Uh, in Sound Mine on the PS4, uh, psychological. PS4 or PS5? It's one of those things, oh, PS5. PS5. I think it was yeah, PS5. I think it was PS5. Yeah. Uh, it is available on the PS4 as well though, and yeah, I do believe on the Switch and the Xbox. Uh, one and Xbox Series X. I don't think it's a combo one. I, no I know idea. that because Saturday Morning Gamer had a video and he messed up and got a game he didn't even have a system for. Huh? Yeah, a version Sweet. of that. Yeah. So I finished that. Psychological Horror. Such a fantastic game. Nobody's talking about it. I have no idea why. I loved it. Okay. What'd you play? You also just single player. One game. I only got one game off single player. That is the first Uncharted. I so played it on the PS4 with the collection, mm -hmm. and I, f for the most part, I really liked it. There are definitely parts. It's a little rough around the edges. <laughs> it's a little rough. The, the jumping. climbing, jumping. Yeah. Yes. Oh my god. Yeah, Uncharted. I knew you were gonna say that, and I think anybody that's watching yes. this video and has played Uncharted would say the same thing. Uh, on to the group. Yeah, we did a lot better in this regard, yep. and we spent a lot of time doing co-op games, so you can read it because I don't have my glasses. Oh, yeah. all right. And the first on the list here, we have Warhammer Chaos Bane. We played that on the PS5. Yes. We played it, the three of us, me, you, Dennis. Yeah, it's like a poor man's Diablo. Very, but yeah. still fun. It, we really had Maybe fun not time. that fun with one person. There yeah. are still some glitches in that thing. Yeah, there's But there. nothing, nothing. No, nothing break, game breaking. Nothing and the only critique I would have for that is the ending was very lackluster, and some of the areas we were, were like repetitive. We literally, literally, like, was that was that the end of was the game? That, that was that was it? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. It, and but then we had fun time. as a group. Next one. Let's go through them fast. Yes. Hunt down. Hunt down on the PS4. Finished that last night. Um, it's that a last two, boss It's was, a two-player game. But what we ended up doing is, um, with the three of us, we kept handing a controller back and forth yeah. there to kind of break it up a little bit. Mm. There, you get a fresh set of eyes on it gives a person a break you can sit there and watch the other two yeah. people struggle and then come up with a game plan that might work we played it on normal difficulty normal we but we unlocked, unlocked badass badass yeah, yeah. So it's a friggin it's a friggin awesome game wicked good game wicked good game next game on the list overcooked <laughs> <laughs> we have posted jen forced us to finish this game but we did have a lot of fun Rachel also four to of us it. i blame both you women <laughs> Four of us, me and Dennis. Good thing you had us, because we never would have finished. And then you and Rachel. Don't give me that look, because there I was there was literally a level that we couldn't do, we couldn't do, we couldn't do. And I'm like, just let me and Dennis do it. And you girls sit out, and then we did it. And you you guys I don't got all that. you got all. We can do better. And we're like, prove it. Did you do better? Yeah. Dennis, you know. 
Anyways, we have so much clips from Overcooked, we could probably just do an entire just <laughs> Overcooked, but we're not going to because that would be a little play dead. And then I did a co-op game with yes. my son, Resident Evil 6. And yeah. I would think the most commonly common phrase that Alex said while playing this game is, I don't know why people hate this game. Yeah. It is a fantastic co-op game, especially if you love shooters. You like Gears of War, you like Halo, like anything like yeah. that, like the Army of Two series. Like it, you have played. You have four campaigns that are all co-op. It's amazing. And yeah. They all the timelines kind of they overlap each other. Yeah. So every time you play the next campaign, you're playing, and then you run into the characters from the first campaign and you get mm -hmm. to see this timeline all the way up to the end and then when you finish all four I you get to see I think that's a phenomenal idea. You get to see the entire thing come together and now I've gotten to the point where I've played the game so many damn times so we can unlock say. infinite ammo. Yes! And well, Dennis and I had started playing it because we played through Resident Evil 5 that was when Teddy was little. This, this is one thing I'm gonna piss I, I want to just a little rant right ahead. now. I have it. I bought it. First time I bought it, I bought it digital on my Xbox One. Mm -hmm. I have a physical copy on the Xbox 360. I can't put that copy in the Xbox One. It will not play it. It just tells me to go somewhere else. <laughs> but I, it'll play It'll play the digital copy, and it just drives me bonkers there why Microsoft does this. I know. Like, oh. I know. But what are you going to do? Yeah, mm -hmm. either way, you got to play through it's it. It's the same machine. And what did you find out about Ada's campaign? Because you were constantly thinking that that was a single player well, mode. Well, I thought it was just a single player mode, but no, they give you like a generic sidekick. Yeah. There. Like one of the guys, like, yeah, he's dying in the first blue mission. Shirt the blue shirt guy's dying. <laughs> for sure. But anyway, that's what me and Alex kept switching back and forth because there's kind of one main character. Yeah. So every other mission, you just you take the opposite. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, so that's all the games we finished, and we should say that we're doing this between the month, the, like, February 15th to March 15th, because so. we need editing time, but we're yep. considering this March. Yes. Yeah, we're all March is March's, March's month. Yes. So, games we are currently playing. You are playing... Uncharted 2. Yes. I'm so happy you're diving into that. What are you thinking so far? Uh, it's a lot better than the first I one. I think that this is most people's favorite. Do I like the climbing? Still don't like the climbing. I didn't There's climb a part. It. Spoiler alert, cover yours. There's <laughs> at the first of the game, you get to climb the fucking train. Well, then, like, later on, where that the, the story meets lines yes, up again yes. with that timeline. And I'm like, they're not going to make the climb the chain again. And they did. And I swore, and I swore, and I swore, and I swore, and I'm still swearing right now. I didn't mind it. I kind of figured at some point I would get to that part. Love the shooting and killing guys and love all that comment. I just, I hate the climbing and the jumping and it's just not very good. Well, I mean. It's floaty. It just it's, feels floaty. Uh, uncharted, so get used to it because it's going to be in the rest of the series. You wait till you play Next the one, Jenny playing Indigo Prophecy. Yeah! Yes. On the original Xbox. On the original Xbox. Mm -hmm. I put it I put it into play it and I think you told me after I was already playing it. Like I think that's a remastered on the PS4. I'm like, it is. Why we don't, didn't you tell me that? But we I don't have it. it no, way. you would have had to buy it. I know, and, and I already buy have a physical one. copy. Last time I checked was like sixty bucks Canadian. Yeah. Plus shipping or what something. What is it like called that? in the UK? Pal? Yeah. Peggy? Fahrenheit? What? Fahrenheit. I do believe this game oh. is not called Indigo Prophecy. Fahrenheit. It's called Fahrenheit. So yeah, um, I'm kind of, I'm really impressed with what they could do. I think this is a game from 2005. I was impressed with it. I couldn't believe this was a 2005 game. It's a hidden gem that nobody yeah, talks about. Yeah, like mm. choice based and it just, the story is very interesting. Keep this thing rolling, Jenny. Mm. Talking too much. Okay. We also started Overcooked 2, and we're having fun with that. Some of us are. Some of us are having fun with that. You and Dennis both looked at it, we got to play another one, okay? Yeah. Well, I mean, what else are we going to play for? The second people? one's a lot easier, I'll tell you that. So far, anyway. Yes. Um, and we are playing House of Ashes uh, 5 people. Yes, we are playing that as well. Uh, we've played, this will be the last game to play with the group of five. 
Is there anyone coming in? No, no, no. There is, but this is, oh, currently as it stands, like yes. this is the last one we this have left in no, that. No, we we could play until dawn, but I don't know if that is five players. I think it's only. Uh, no, I believe. But no, I think it's. There's six characters in there. Three boys, three girls. Yes, I do. Look at my shelf, and I'll prove you wrong. I know I'm right. It's three girls, three boys. It's where the fuck's this game? There you go. It says one player, but you pass it back and... It's always one player! You just pass the fucking controller! I feel like I got mad at you guys for that. That was for Scott. Okay, guys, you know I'm right. Anyways, I'm right. I know I'm right. I'm right! Alright. I'm gonna say I'm right. And then me and Alex are playing Dead Nation. Yes. Apocalypse Edition. I had to buy it digitally on PS4. Uh, I may be playing it on the PS5, I can't remember. But anyway, I, from my understanding, I don't think I can buy it on the Xbox, and I never tried Switch, so, mm -hmm. but I was looking you for a co-op game. You guys are having fun, though. Yep. Decent amount of fun. Yep. And uh, as this video comes out, I will be deep into playing Resident Evil 4 Remake. I am assuming I will love it. All right. Little part, little segment we're going to call the Community Corner, where we kind of highlight things that happen in the community that we are involved in through YouTube. Yes. And the first thing you wanted to mention was the a certain channel. Yes. The name of? Mr. Matthews. And I know this happened probably about a week ago. I'm not sure about timelines. Don't well, by the time this comes out, it'll be a few weeks. Exactly. I just wanted to say a huge congrats to him. He hit 1K on his channel. Well, well deserved. deserved. He does well a review deserved. like nobody yeah. else. It yep. is so, he is so well scripted and spoken, it's I'm, amazing. Like, he does his reviews, they're, they're top notch, they're, it's awesome. I could yeah, never do anything like that, I'm a kind of a fanboy, I've told him this before, yes. so it's not weird, I hope. Anyway, we found him. <laughs> but don't be afraid if you see some of his videos are in the 20 minute, and you know, it doesn't feel like it doesn't. Minutes. In no. the 20, 30 minute video, no. you're like, I could have done with like a couple more minutes. Like, yeah, no, yeah he's excellent. really good at reviews. Also want to really shout out a local boy, Saturday Morning Gamer. Yeah. He is in and around that 700 yep. subscriber mark. He's going to take off. He's going to be hitting that 1K soon. I'm really excited about what he's doing. Yep. He's, again, like really easy to listen to, enjoyable, relaxing content. He talks about pickups. He also talks about games he's played. Yep. He does like a three-day rental type review, thing. Yeah. yeah, like if you went to Blockbuster and you picked up a game, a three-day rental, what could you get out of your three days and then talks about it. He does um, mail uh, call too, where he gets yep. stuff in the mail. Uh, his last video, he just spent 500 game. bucks. Yeah, <laughs> okay. he, did, he did the thing where he showed his, his game room and the process of putting it together and yeah. that stuff. Yeah. And so yeah, like if you like us, go check him out there. Help him, help yes, him out. Please. Get, get him up to a thousand. He has a fantastic channel, guys. I would not steer you wrong. Well, I would think we're gonna ask him if he would like to come on our channel at some point. And yeah. Collab. Yeah, that yeah. would be awesome. Yep. Um. So moving on from that, we're gonna really quickly pickups. We did have some pickups. I know we weren't said we weren't picking anything up, but the plane tickets and the hotel is already paid for for Siege, so I'm allowed. So before we get into the games, let's get to the. Equipment, we'll call it yes. for the game room. First of all, I think we've mentioned it before, but we did have, we do have two, two Nest cams in the gaming area, and that is the footage that you've probably already seen already in this video on Instagram and Twitter. Yes, that yeah. captures these moments, sir. These funny moments, sir. Mm -hmm. That you just, you, you can't recreate that. So like, no. <laughs> that's just the fun. You got to catch that stuff as, as it happens. happens. You know, a few beer deep. Yeah. And I don't know what this thing is. I will unpack this later, but this is just a microphone for my, it's a Shure MV88+. Plus. I wanted to get it for Siege and also for uh, filming B-roll. So I have a good microphone, also has a tripod that came with it. And uh, yeah, so that's some tech to All right, games. make me happy. Games. Games. Let's start off. We're off the top here. Yeah. No particular order. We got brother. 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 I still can't do that. Co-op game on the PS4. Yes. For some reason, we had an Xbox copy and it would Wouldn't not work. work. It would not load. The no. disc looked 
immaculate. There was nothing wrong with it. It wouldn't load. I don't know why. Thanks, so. Xbox. I'm Ooh, it. This one here, I am like super pumped to try it. I know. Eldest Souls. Yeah. Jen's gonna show some gameplay because I can't even describe how awesome it looks. I know. It looks Got it from one of the runs. Oh, look. I have a movie in that. We'll just save that for you. <laughs> Octopath Traveler 2. You know I gotta grab this. Yeah. I'm uh I'm I'm assuming there's gonna be plenty of copies, but I don't want a chance to get there. Exactly. I had to grab it. With RPGs, you just never yeah. know. Jenny got this one. Signalis, also Signalis. another shout out to Saturday Morning Gamer. Everybody and their dog on YouTube has been talking about this, but he was the first guy that uh, put me onto it. So thank you for letting me know about Spending that. Spending that money. Spending that money. Jenny picked up Shantae. Yeah. I haven't Shantae, played. Which one? A risky, risky revenge. revenge director's cut. I haven't played a Shantae game yet, so I didn't know it was a Metroidvania style game. I had no idea. And then a friend of ours, Mr. Marcus Bolt. Yes. This is the one that she wanted, and yes. we agreed on a price. He tried to give it to us. I knew he was going to, so I went on a workaround she and work around contacted his wife. The, wife. the wife will always take always take a money. No, she wouldn't. She was like, no, <laughs> I don't want to. He said it was a gift. I'm like, bullshit on that. <laughs> But anyway, Wait, I'm doing this. He gave us those with he, it. Yes. There, so I'm really excited about Saw too. Yeah. I'm really excited about it. Something we picked up today mm -hmm. at Value Village, and we don't rarely pick up anything at mm -hmm. Value Village. It, and it's a PC game. Yeah. It's Scratch. Scratches. The E S is covered. Oh, scratches. Yeah. PC game. I looked up a little bit of uh, info on this it's from 2006 it's it's got like a survival horror element but i think it's like an adventure kind of game creepy i wasn't even sure how i'd play it but then you mentioned well i'm in the process we're gonna set up jen originally had a gaming laptop that she edited videos on yes and now she has a full pc i needed a desktop yes. now i inherit that and my plans are is i'm gonna get it down here for emulation. Brews and emulation. Yeah, and, and we like can that. do Steam on that as well. Games that aren't available on console. Yeah, I can't. I don't know what I'd want to play. Well, you probably want to play some survival horror stuff. Yeah, I, I honestly don't know. I could find some stuff. Because I haven't dived into Steam. Yeah. All right. Oh, let's do this one. We got Demon Throttle. Yep. Shh, like a shooter, two player. It says only physical, never digital. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> But that's what sold me. Yeah. So, anyway. I think we saw that on someone's channel. I just can't remember who. Do we? Credit goes to you. Yes, you, whoever you are. And I had to get Tales of Symphonia Remastered yes. because I still have not been able to track down the GameCube Tales of Symphonia. Mm -hmm. So, this will be the way I play it then. Yes. I picked up a Repro Kart. And <gasps> For sure! I never even... Uh, tried it yet so fingers crossed maybe i can put it in the machine give you guys an update in the video yeah but star ocean the first one yeah english translated saves on it hopefully it works got it on ebay <laughs> i think you would have checked that by now right it's been sitting on the shelf um, and then all right we got three nes games did i pick up one of them or two of them you got one of them i'm gonna get the one that's got the rough label here yeah and it's ducktales and when we went to go pick it up there, the, uh, I don't know if his manager or whatever, one of the salesmen yeah. been there, one of the workers, like, said, it's pretty rough. They're like, no, no, yeah, okay, okay. He's like, I know you're a collector, though. You know, I don't know, I'm going to get it. I don't know why. Re recently, I've been thinking I'd like to have, let's say, 50 fantastic NES games, and that's my collection. Yeah. So it means there's got to be some win, lose, or draw, Wheel of Fortune. Stop! I love those! Yeah. I never play them, but I love Jeopardy. them. Jeopardy. I don't even Shut know. Up! I'm just na naming off like some of the... It's nostalgia goggles. Filler. It's Space. nostalgia. Yeah, but those nostalgia goggles you can play on the EverDrive. You can play this one on the EverDrive. Yeah, but have it on that's a classic. Game. What do you, would you rather have? DuckTales or Wheel of Fortune? Hot take. Fucking game pisses me off. I tried to play it and couldn't figure it out. Well, let's see what else. I picked up this one because the gameplay looks awesome. I also really wanted that one too. Dream Master. Yes. I've never Little seen Nemo's it. Little Dream Master. Yeah, I've never seen yeah. it before. I honestly haven't even put it in and tried it yet. But it was like 15 bucks. Yes. Why not? This next game I had to have, and it has since shot up in price a little bit. The Uninvited. Yes. Right? Uninvited on the NES. We, we bought it for $69.95. Yes. 
and it's like 120 or something, 120 or 130. Whatever happened here in the, in four weeks, it all oh, like almost doubled. Yeah, I'm so happy we picked it up at that. I mean, at the same time. Why? Parlor, I have no idea. Parlor is very good at underpricing their games. They're always priced below price charting, and the games don't sit long. They, that was they the go pickups, for unless my wife really wants to bring out that stuff. We'll bring it out at the end. All right. Okay. Pickups are done. So Jen wants to put in the gaming fails, and this may not even be a fail yet, but it is. It's the on, group is voting on it. On we the may, bubble. Maybe voted off the island here because. Yeah. It was a community pick, Secret of Mana. I played up to the point there where I had all three characters unlocked. Yes. And I am I'm just grinding away. It's just a slog. Like You're trudging through this game, it feels like. Yeah. And you're dragging along two AIs that constantly die on you. So I'm like, okay, I'll play a three-player because people said it's way better. Multiplayer. Yeah. Great. So we played it last night for what? Two hours at yeah, least? At least. And by the end of it, there, Dennis is like, I'll pl play through it if you guys really want to, but I am not having fun. Yes, and, and we're on the same page as... I don't like not finishing a yes. game, but this one is... Testing that theory. Yeah, it, I feel like this game has is really showing its age. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, the hit detection is just... Talk me out of it in the comments. Talk me out of the comments there. Yeah, just or tell validate me I got them. it. Gotta do it, gotta do it. Or if you're like me and you're like, well, it's kind of overrated there, or yeah. it's, it's maybe not aged as well as it. Throw up the uh, the picks that we had on the community pick. And I honestly, I'm starting to wonder if people just pick, vote it for Secret of Mana because that's the one they knew. Yeah, and if know. you try to find a map of Secret of Mana and you put on Legend of Mana, you'll get a completely different we map. We sent her upstairs, I'm like, go print off a map because we don't know where we're going. We're lost and blah, 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 blah. And she goes up, she comes back. There's no, it doesn't make sense, blah, blah, blah. It's grid. like a grid that, that going on. I'm like, whatever. And she and then we're like trying to move when we've got the third person on her phone. Would, would you pick up the controller? Pick up the controller and move your character. I wanted to show you. And I want to show you what's wrong. It doesn't make sense. And then Alex comes down. He's laughing at us. We're struggling there. And he's like, do you want me to print off a map? I'm like, well, your mother. Well, good fucking luck. Mother tried. And he's like, he goes up. <laughs> And I'm like, and what, do you, what, get, what is the game called anyway? I'm like, Secret of Mana. And she's like, oh, I put in Legend of Mana. I'm like, well, that would make a little bit of sense because it's not that difficult. There's an actual map for Secret of Mana. But that's not, yeah. Anywho, I gotta switch that. So we don't know fail yet or no. It's, it's still... It's 50-50. Like, it really is. 50, I'm 50 like, cent. I'm struggling to enjoy it. Yeah, same thing. We're almost done, guys. I swear to God. We're almost there. Jen has a goal of, like, not putting as much effort into editing, and hopefully this is going to be a little less yeah, of an uh, polished video. <laughs> yeah, as much as you can polish us. So. Yeah. Right. Can't polish a turd, so. Is it hard cuts. Make it quick. Okay. Uh, we have gaming highlights next. And I don't think there was one singular thing that stood out. Just all the freaking co-op fun we had this month. We just had so many. It, there wasn't a Friday or Saturday that passed that uh, we didn't have people here. Yeah. It was every Friday, every Saturday. We had people over. It was either three of us four or five four or five before, of us. Yeah, or yeah. you were playing games with Alex. Yeah. It was just a blast. Uh, the elbow drop on Dennis was was rather fun because we didn't get an elbow drop and we should say that we had gone out to the uh to have some beer at Holy Vale before that so Dennis and I came back a little bit drunk <laughs> and uh, Scott was not so Hungry. yeah yeah that's what happens okay. lightweight put in Ronnie right now lightweight yeah I, yeah. I mean it's true <laughs> We just had fun. So yeah, we had a lot of fun this and that's what's the that's why we're doing this video so we can kind of show more of yes. the gameplay and stuff we do. So to close out this video, uh, we want to talk about, you know, what's next? What's next, next month look month. like? What's next month's plans? Maybe not even might not have happened, but some of these will. Some of these will. Uh, we did pick up some stuff. 
We picked up some stuff. Get the fucking stuff! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to give him more of a hint! <laughs> Maybe he hit me for it. Okay, <laughs> none of this is gonna make sense. It's We've got a costume. I'm women's aviator glasses. I'm developing women's. a character to do some shorts and just have fun making fun of ourselves and resellers and the Re gaming. What the fuck's a reseller? Yeah. Reseller? Reseller, yeah. See? I'm wine. drinking wine, leave me alone. Mario and this sexy jacket that just makes me itch touching it. <sighs> oh, wait till it's on. I cannot again. wait to see. I can't wait to show you guys for you to see what we have. Well, what I have planned in. in this noggin here may hopefully will translate to a video. Yes, we're hoping to get Dennis involved yes. somehow, and uh, we're just gonna have fun. We're gonna make like if if that's what we do here. We don't we, even we burn know. each other. We just have fun. We make fun of each other, and it's all in fun. So yes. if. I make fun of something that you possibly do as a YouTuber or a collector. Don't it's take not... it because we do the same thing. We're all just making fun of ourselves. Exactly. We also have a party. Party time! Party! party. It's going to be on April 1st. So we're calling it a fool's fool party. party. Yeah, there will be some fools there. So we got a group of fools coming over here. We're going to play some games. Yeah. Probably have a few beverages. Oh, probably slice some drinking games. Probably have some fun. Yeah. Maybe a couple elbow drops there. Yeah. Dennis better raise stay his sober. Edge. Somebody mentioned. Somebody guys... wants me to raise his edge, Dennis. <laughs> I'm I'm considering it. I'm gonna start writing this. If you really, me. if you really want to know why the people's elbow got dropped, put it in the comments. Say we gotta know. We need to know the story why Dennis got hit with the yeah, elbow. Yeah, there's more to it. Yeah. And uh, I am saying I'm not drinking at the fool's party. Because I usually end up tapping out early. And she usually got there hugging the porcelain god there. So hugging the porcelain god? I don't know. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't end pretty for me. I have like three drinks and I'm out. And we recently just did a live stream with the Mr. Denver Gamer. Yes! And it is all about the Xbox, the original Xbox. Uh, so it's that'll kind be of a out. buying guide. And Player's guide. Player, yeah. And um, so we don't know the exact date it's coming out, but when we do, we're gonna put out a, probably a short or a sh another short video. Instagram, promoting Twitter, it, promoting it. it on there. Hopefully you guys will go out there and watch it and support yeah. him, support us. So after doing that, like, I really enjoy doing that, so maybe we should get back to doing some actual live yeah, streams on our channel. Yeah, we don't know what channel. that looks like yet, guys. We, what does it look like? Does anybody actually miss the Get the No Gamer? Yes. And if you do or you don't, be completely... That dog is, like, losing his mind up there. Be completely honest. Yeah. Could be, you know, say yes or no. Like, yeah. yes for this reason, no for we this, don't take... cut this out, do that. Do you guys want to see us play games and lose I don't our fucking minds? Care. We've also had fun doing uh, streaming like games like Bro Force and stuff. And yeah. there, there's games I have here that I've always said this these would be a fun live stream. Yes. You if know. you really guys really want to see me lose my fucking mind, I can do that shit too. Which means playing some retro games and well, losing my fucking mind. So <laughs> some people said that would be hilarious. And... Oh, it's hilarious if you're not in the room. Yeah, if you don't live with her, that's pretty fun. <laughs> <laughs> End it there. Yeah. All right, guys. So that was our month in review. Our return to YouTube. A return. <laughs> they were gone. <laughs> yeah, they were like, you guys left. Yeah. Oh fuck! Yeah. Could you leave again? <laughs> in case right. you haven't noticed, we were gone. Yeah, we were gone. And now we're back. And now we're back. If you don't even notice that we're back. Uh, I'm not surprised. <laughs> All right. Okay, guys. So thanks so much for watching, and until next time. What do we used to say? You used to say something about gaming or the yeah, high pitch. I remember it was real squeaky. Game on! I think that was it. That's a wrap. It's a good thing you're cute. It's a good thing you're cute. Is that sarcasm? Do you think it's sarcasm? Yes.